synthetic versus biologic mesh. This is, of course, a very live and ongoing debate on the subject of a lot of this morning's talks. We know ventral hernias are a high risk for wound uh, infection compared to other uh, clean general surgery procedures, 12% compared to 2%. Uh, and we've heard a lot about, and I think there's gathering uh, evidence that synthetic mesh has a high rate of surgical site occurrences. We know about the fistulae, the seromas, the infections, et cetera. And there's uh, a lot of evidence uh, for this as well. Now, we, we also know that the biological uh, advantage is to address the significant complications that are associated with synthetic mesh, and that's avoiding a two-stage repair when there's contamination, avoiding this explantation issue when you have exposure or contamination. It allows the mesh uh, to be placed um, in what would otherwise be somewhat compromised situations, like in direct contact with the bowel, of course, and also under questionable soft tissue coverage, uh, including uh, I, would cons I would categorize bridge repair in that uh, category. So uh, Dr. Butler, who's uh, uh, one of our mentors, of course, did some of the early biological work um, in, in the laboratory, and he found that, of course, the adhesion rate was lower uh, with the bowel, uh, but also that the mechanical strength was equivalent. I think we've heard a lot about how uh, xenografts are weaker, and, and I think that that's um, somewhat of a uh, fictitious.